NBC2 News Today. This morning, we're joined by Dr. Cedarquist, who has some interesting news that may make you reconsider your favorite side dish, potatoes. Dr. Cedarquist practices preventive medicine and weight management in Naples. So what did this recent study show about potatoes? This study was actually taken from the Nurses Health Study, which has followed 82,000 women for 20 years, looking at their food preferences and the later development of certain medical conditions. And what they found is that women who ate potatoes regularly, essentially potatoes every day, either one cup mashed or one baked potato, had an 18% higher likelihood of developing diabetes within the time frame of the study period. What they found is the women who were most at risk for developing the diabetes with their potato intake were women who were sedentary or overweight. So you're saying that eating a lot of potatoes could contribute to getting diabetes. Well, one of the reasons the researchers think this may be a contributor is potatoes are a starch. You know, m many people think of them as a vegetable, but they're a very starchy vegetable. And starches break down into sugar. One of the things about potatoes is it does require a fair amount of insulin in order to metabolize the meal because it's a carbohydrate meal when you have potatoes. And having this in the diet so regularly may be one of the things that leads to diabetes. We know that diabetes diabetes is due to a variety of factors, family history, activity level, and weight, but also the types of food and the quality of the foods play a role as well. And diabetes is a, a big risk factor in our society, and many people are confused because they don't know what are good potatoes, what are bad potatoes. You know, you think baked potatoes are healthier than, let's say, french fries, but is that the case? They absolutely are healthier. You know, uh, French fries are potatoes that are fried in trans fats, uh, you know, at restaurants or uh, maybe healthier fats at home, but they definitely have this extra fat content, which is not good for them. Compared to, say, a baked potato, which has a lot of potassium, it has a lot of fiber, potatoes can be a very, very good food. But I think the issue was the frequency of how often they were eating and the serving size. A serving size of mashed potatoes really should be a half a cup, not a cup, or half of a baked potato, not a full one and of course there can be a huge variety in terms of the size of these baked potatoes so it really probably looks at having a healthy food but having it sometimes in the diet as opposed to very very frequently and that's a good point sometimes in the diet what's that definition how often should people be able to eat potatoes well, it's definitely going to vary because if you're younger and more active, your body can tolerate more carbohydrates, healthy ones or unhealthy ones. And certainly potatoes uh, baked would fall into the healthy types of carbohydrates. If you're more active, you can tolerate more carbohydrate. But as you get older and as you become less active, your body can actually metabolize the carbohydrates less well. When the government set down the nutritional guidelines in 2005, what they recommended is that all adults eat about two and a half cups of vegetables vegetables per day. And over the course of a week, that would be 17 and a half cups of vegetables per week. With regards to starchy vegetables, which would be the potatoes or corn, the recommendation was three cups per week. So about one sixth of the total vegetable intake should be from starchy types of um, vegetables. So hopefully that will give people more of a guideline as to where they should be going with the potatoes. All right, good information, Dr. Cedarquist. If you have any questions for her, 1-866-401-3438 or go to www.bistromd.com.